Hello, I'm Guy Gunrunner. I'm the author of In Our Mad and Furious City, um, which is a novel set around a housing estate in northwest London, in Neasden, which is where I grew up. And it follows five characters as they have to deal with the aftermath of a killing of a British soldier. It's out February 7th. Um, and I'm in Waterstones, Tottenham Court Road today. And I'm going to be recommending a few books that I love um, to all of you. first book is Another Country by James Baldwin um, and it's not the book that you begin reading Baldwin you begin with Go Tell on Mountain but it's the book that I treasure most um, it's just like every other book from Baldwin it's beautifully written, it's lyrical, it's poetic uh, begins with a death and uh, the death is cast over a group of friends who are grieving um, it's just a beautifully written book um, and you know any chance I can to recommend it I will so read it the next book is Woman at Point Zero by Nawal El Sadawi um, this is a writer who means a lot to me um, the book is about um, a woman who is narrating who kind of tells her story about how she ended up in prison after killing a man who mistreats her. She's recounting it to a psychiatrist. Um, And it's just written in such a direct way, which kind of rattles you up in the best way. Um, I'm a member of Penn International and English Penn, which is an organization that um, helps to promote freedom of expression in places where that's under threat. Um, And also just helps to promote trans cultural dialogue. Um, an exchange with the uh, voices that they help raise and there's no other writer I think that embodies both those things she's been in prison herself and you'll be hard pressed to find any other work of fiction that is as fierce as this um, it's a very slim book so you know there's no excuse you gotta read it The next book is Malloy by Samuel Beckett, Um, and it's the first Beckett book that I read, uh, the first novel. Um, The first time I read it, I was too young, and I couldn't finish it. The next time I read it, though, I was older, um, and as a writer, I think you could get a sense of what's capable of language if you're committed to it, um, and have just such an uncompromising uh, attitude towards sort of the proseness. there's really no way to describe it, honestly, uh, other than it's um, sectioned into two parts with two interl- interlinking voices. The first voice um, is of a man who lives off the streets and sucks stones from his pocket. Um, and the next section is about father and son. Uh, the father is a policeman who is searching for the previous man. Um, and I kind of I went on a tear of reading Beckett's novels and plays after reading this, so hopefully you'll have the same effect. Uh, the last one, I just wanted to show you this. <laughs> Sterrett Walcott's White Agrets. Sterrett Walcott is my favourite poet. Um, and there's nothing more to be said other than if you've ever read Walcott, I think this, this is him at his peak. I think it's my favourite in his collection. Um, it's beautiful. There's nothing else to say. Just just pick it up. White regrets. Jerry Walker.